we're back. We're back. Hey, uh, so I will give you guys the spoilers for that game since it's been lost forever. It's been uh, it's, it's gone. In the void. It's in the lost void. in the annals of time. Um, Glacial Valkyrie won. They're now 3 0. I wish we got to, saw that t you know, got to see that top fight. That did not happen. I know. Who knows what happened to the game? We are at a loss for that. Um, we're just going to jump into the next one because God knows actually what occurred. I don't what, know. Are, what are these teams? I don't even have my notes on the screen right now. Uh, perhaps BRG, so. A hotspot gaming is one of them. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. And BRG. And BRG is the other one. I am in the hotspot Discord server. Ooh, baked, roasted, grilled. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm honestly just super bummed. That we don't get to see the end of that game. Yeah, right. Like, like, this pick ban aside, though, that game was getting game. spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got Jarvin first pick on the side. Excellent. Excellent. Well, we'll try this one All more right. time. So we're going through Pikmin. The Fiddlesticks is going to get banned out, and I assume that is targeted at the Fiddlesticks one trick. Yep. Who he did subbed recently to us, just subbed to us. So what a good is, man. Yeah. Unlucky for him. You know, he subs, tries to build the hype for his name, and then Phil Six gets banned. Shouldn't have came on. Yeah. Shouldn't have given us the sub, man. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate it. But what I really like is this BRG logo. Look at that chicken, man. That is. He's very nice. Chicken? He's serving up some chicken. Right. Like. A chicken or turkey, perhaps? I'm a little scared. <laughs> Wait, if it's a turkey, the lore is nice it's there. So wild. it's chicken Man. versus turkeys in there. Right. Mm. I think the turkeys might win. Yeah, I really bad. They're dude, huge. They got yeah. they body them. Like, you know how stupid oh. chickens are too, dude. Those yeah, things are dumber are than <laughs> heck. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They, they don't, they don't even get a head to survive. Remember that one chicken that had his yeah. his brain stem uh, still attached? He was yeah. chilling, dude. <laughs> that man lived for like two weeks. He doesn't need it, man. He, he was good. All right, so Jarvin picked up. Again on the side of Hotspot, and then Zeri is going to be picked up for BRG. So Zeri, I mean, is not in the strongest spot, in a decent spot, but they must just like that as a pick. And then they're going to pick up Nocturne as well. So Nocturne in a really good spot right now. Mm. Super strong jungle there. A scary guy when he ults. I'm scared. Yeah, he ults, I hear mm -hmm. darkness. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Who knows where Who he's going to go? Gonna happen. Unless you see him. Yeah. But then you don't see him because he makes it dark. Right. I don't know. Yeah, Josh is a nightlight kind of guy. You can't blame him, though. You know? I need it. It's this hard guy to see. inspired it. It's I'm hard so to scared see. of this guy. I don't want to see him. I'm scared yeah, it's like, a, well, why we got to have this like negative stigma against having some light in your room? What are they going to piss, man? What are they going to trip over something? Yeah. And bang my knee? Dude, come I mean, on. You remember the, the, uh, the cinematic where Nocturne is just covering the entire field with the darkness. Yeah. That was a good cinematic. That was an it's old crazy. one, too, right? That's yeah. an old one. But that one went off. The old cinematics were kind of goaded. No, know. they were, dude. They had a lot of, uh, they had a lot of, uh, passion poured yeah. into them, you know. All right, so we get the Rakan and the Ash, both. That engages. Very strong picture, yeah. Mm. Very good. A lot good. of solid engage, a lot of lockdown for the Zeri. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, like, that hard CC, we love seeing that, you know. That is a keen with an easy go button, you know, just layering on that CC. Rakan and Jarvan. Can't get much of a better roam combo than that. And Bard. The Bard is the answer. Interesting. Interesting uh, choice. Not like the worst. Yeah, but it's not great. It's but not he great. did just get buffed, right? Oh, that's right, yeah. They, bu they did what buff they? Bard. I don't know how strong he is. What'd they buff? Something to do with his charge. Ah. Yeah. That's kind of big, though. It is, it is pretty big. It's clutching the whole time. Yeah. It is pretty. It is a pretty significant buff. I don't know if it actually makes it that useful here though yeah. i don't think it's a great like combo with the zeri uh you know bard kind of wants to roam around the map and makes plays zeri kind of needs someone to babysit her so we'll especially see how that, that lane mm. yeah i mean oh god uh, I'm scared already. top lane bands coming over now poppy and alawi both being taken off the table We're probably gonna see more of that as well just get people on their least comfortable Annie. champions. And, you know, Annie Ban, I don't have a problem with an Annie Ban, you know. Uh, if there's a good Annie on a team, you know, it's a really easy go button. You know, yeah, it is get engages all the time. Just burst somebody down. And if somebody's strongest pick, you know, just get rid of it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. All right, we'll see what the last ban is for the side of Hotspot. Presumably what could 
target at? What could it be? Man, we got nothing oh. going on with this pick ban, man. It's taking forever. Just pick. Just ban something. Come they on. already know what they're going to ban. They're being yeah. a little bit dramatic, yeah. perhaps. There we go. The, the Rengar. The, oh, the oh, Renekton. All right. That was a misclick. That was a misclick. All right. And the Ari pick, you know, a pretty safe blind pick. Not too bad. Just save that top pick for last. Pretty solid. The team overall, I guess, has decent pick, you know. The yeah. Nocturne Ari combo, you know, you got a decent amount of mid prior there. Um, how are they going to round this one off? They already have incredible amounts of engage. Wouldn't be surprised to see more, like, damage-oriented uh, solo laners come through here. And they're just going to really wind down the clock here. My God, we got places to be. We got games to cast. <laughs> just end this. My God. Get it moving. Yeah, you knew that we were going to pick Echo, like, 20 seconds ago. Let's just pick it already. <laughs> like, what are you discussing? Uh, do we want it? Yeah. Do we want to pick it? Uh, yeah, we should probably pick it. So we're picking it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's locking it. I'm locking in sure? Echo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just come on. We're doing it again. What is this with this fanfare? No one cares. It's not dramatic. Just pick your champ. Here we go, oh, Warren. Oh Warren. Oh my God. It's such a. Imagine with, like you you build out you build up the suspense and then you yeah and then pick yeah Warren. exactly. Right. It's, it's so cringe, <laughs> by the way. It's so funny. I I gotta say, Blue oh, Side, is, this draft is just nuts for them. They have so much engagement. I guess the only yeah, thing is they're the a little. Kind of is bad. They're a little Their bit range picks, gimped. Think, kind of bad, they're a little yeah. range gimped. If they had a better mid laner, I think I'd like it a little bit more. That being said, they can pick a target and destroy them. Uh, Zeri's going to be a little slippery to get on, though. That's the yeah. only uh, caveat. Yeah, I feel like Lissandra would have been not bad. They could have just gone Lissandra would have been solid, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, I guess the Echo is slightly higher damage, so you got that going for you, but it's not exactly reliable damage. Yeah. So. But a lot, large amount of skill expression for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And then Orin, obviously, always a solid frontline pick, and we will get right into the action. That being said, though, if um, the Bird Boys do start snowballing, you know they have definitely, definitely have a possibility to um, really run the mid game down. You know they got the set pick, the Ari pick, even the Zeri pick to some degree. You know there's a lot of, a lot of mid game power coming in there. Nocturne as well. I mean, I like it. If they get ahead, they can really press on their lead. But I say, yeah. if we're going late game, I would definitely have to pick Hotspot. For sure. Yeah. No, I agree. Double exhaust in the bot lane. Both supports have exhaust. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so now if we remember, Jay Beach said that it's going to be an absolute just white jungle gas. Yeah. You know, Pro Fiddle 6 is going to get destroyed. So this is... This is the matchup that I yeah I, I, highlight focus on like no no definitely definitely uh, a lot of pressure on him to, good matchup too yeah Nocturne yeah, you know. and J four I mean yeah so we have I mean a lot of pressure on Nocturne I think to make stuff happen early yeah it's good be tough against J four J four has a lot a lot of easy avenues into early yeah, games yeah yeah, yeah. J four really has to start snowballing that early game if he right. wants to be effective because Nocturne at a certain point that man can just, just find engages from anywhere and yeah. just really start pressing his lead. All right, so we're going to clear that ward right off the bat, giving Sona the Sona one XP lead. That's the name, Echo. Echo, yeah, there we go. Very close in champion. Very, yeah, they're, 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 they name. are similar. It's his name. Oh, yeah, I it's mean, can't blame so, him. So oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. That is true. You know. You guys that's... are so dumb. <laughs> we are very dumb. Uh. <laughs> we got to love Sona. Everyone loves Sona. Lowest HP in the game, lowest base true. HP in you the game. You always gotta love a woman that won't talk back. You know, because she doesn't oh talk and <laughs> at all. She doesn't talk. Yeah, she well, does. what's going on top lane? It's supposed, it's supposed to be a wet noodle fight up here. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, I mean, Set just Whoa. kind of bashing in the orn right there. Level yeah. one has that lethal tempo. Hits level two and just says, "I, I like, don't even care." Oh, lethal tempo on Set. I like that. I, the trades are kind of nuts. He's level two to the orn level one, and he's just. He doesn't even want to fight him. No. No, that's kind of bizarre. Yeah. What did he start? Did he start E or did he start Q? He started Q. Boom, boom. Yeah, so he could just feel the beat on yeah. him. Fight what? Get him set. Oh, Intr oh, oh whoa, whoa. Oh, the damage is too much. Oh, no, he's going to yeah. go whoa, back for whoa. the stun, and that's going to be traded back by Zeri's Zeri, going. though, and they can maybe kill Oh, yeah, Zeri's got it. Flash forward, but the, the exhaust. Cringe gamers. Cringe gamers. Yeah, we're exhausting out here, boys. 
Yeah, that's that all, all, all summoner spells blown awesome. right there. Both AD carries getting a kill, but the wave will be there for Zeri to take. And, uh, yeah. You have to wonder why Rakan held the exhaust for so long. You gotta wonder. Yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting. Definitely an interesting move. Probably would have. Uh, maybe his AD carry probably Ash. would have survived. Yeah. yeah maybe I, saves Ash. Use that bit. a little bit early. And uh, it's like Seth kind of lost all of his early game lead because, you know, Orn is a fun champ, right? The yeah. champ can just pretty much do nothing and be fine. Just kept his TP and everything. Yeah, that's but also, a little sad. A little sad. Seth was playing a little bit scared, to be honest. Honestly, yeah. I mean, that man can just walk up, ego. Auto, auto, boom, Q reset, gets four auto attacks in, easy money. What did Nocturne do? What, for a clear? His pathing, yeah. He did blue buff, and then his full, full top side. That is bizarre, and yeah. he's invading, but there's no camps. He's gonna I mean, dive he, he top? Okay. Uh, I feel like he should have done that earlier. Uh, he kind of, he missed bit, his yeah, window. This is a little bit of a... He should have uh, just, he should have three camped if he's planning on doing this. I'm not exactly like, sure about the, like, half And now clear. his bot side is right. going to get invaded. So this is kind yeah. of a disaster for the Nocturne, to be honest. Mm -hmm. The amount of disruption this J4 is causing, even if he doesn't yeah. get this Gromp. I mean, know. he should be able to get it. He has Smite. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He, he gets, gets, out. gets out. Ton of damage, though. You got to be careful. They might try to chase this down, but no, Ari doesn't have any sums left. Going to get out. Going to get an easy Gromp steal. And yeah, you know, that's a pressure advantage right there. You know, Nocturne yeah. doesn't accomplish anything top lane, and there you go. Yeah, a little bit awkward. And it's, it's going to it's gonna effectively put down, like, put Nocturne down a level as Jarvan goes yep. for his respawns. A bit of a mistake not going for a base what here, a... but he'll stay in the map. Is he, is he rushing boots? The, the Nocturne? Is he rushing boots? He might be. He does love them. Uh, does what he, does he want? I don't, he wants a, uh, I don't think he loves boots that much. It, steel caps? Or? Th that's like yeah, 600 yeah. gold in the tubes right there. He, yeah. Usually most junglers will just either run the boot mastery, just ignore boots, just rush your mythic, or like whatever starting item you have. In interesting choice. Interesting choice. A little scared of the J4 maybe, and like the early dueling of the Nocturne. Like not being up to par of the J4. I'm not sure, but... I guess 600 gold's kind of awkward to back with, but I, I don't know if it's cloth armor boots ever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. And, yeah, that is it, an interesting. It is very interesting. Get the, uh, whip Ooh, a very, recall. very, Big very nice. The, uh, set. Uh, a nice W, though, by the Orn to uh, interrupt the pull in by the set, you know. Definitely knows how to play his champion. As well. Yeah, he's looking for man, that gank. Man, Orn is so lame. Hasn't even backed yet. Already has a bomby cinder, man. What is that champion? Oh, look, at least he's a tank, right? He doesn't have any high base damages. Oh, yeah, he's on top of everything. So Jarvan's actually going for Dragon, and Nocturne looks uh -oh. like he's walking down. Oh, this the is base. this is he bad. It. He wow. doesn't actually go over there, though. Wow. So he's just going to sneak Bot lane has Pryo. I don't think they can really contest this, though. That's probably yeah, the call right free. there. Just yeah, give this up. But that really just means Nocturne doesn't really get anything. He's just hanging out in the yeah, area. Yeah, so Nocturne is is honestly a little bit just dizzy this game. Is yeah, that's... having a lot of trouble finding what camps the path for. He, mm -hmm. he goes and checks his bot side, sees that it's gone. He's going to go back to his top side, which is also gone. It has to go all the way to Krug. So very awkward pathing as he kind of loses the dragon and doesn't really get anything back for it. Oh, All right. Bard coming back to lane. He's about done with the chimes for now. He wants to participate a little bit here. Yeah, hey, he's no. ready. Really hitting that, that lull in the game, you know? It's just... Not too much is going to happen. Nocturne kind of hovering around this top side. Doesn't really have a play, though. Maybe going Watch for the engage, but oh, game. huge damage. Oh. Or going to flash out the Haymaker, and Nocturne possibly looking to path up here. Yeah, I can maybe find this. This is kind of a free kill. If he's taking he's there. taking blue right now, so he really should be prioritizing this top dive, J4 I think. J4 on his way up, too. Yeah, and I mean, Orn has TP, so he's just going to get out. Oh, yeah. boy. J4 is almost certainly going to get this, no? Yeah, this is, this this is a terrible situation. Jarvan. He yeah. actually doesn't opt to fight. He may be a little bit scared of the set. Who's yeah, maybe, first, but, but here comes Orn. Orn I, TPs, yeah. Yeah, no, this might, this might be a mistake by the J4. It does take a lot of upfront damage, but here comes Orn. The knockup is going to miss. He whips his entire ultimate, but... Nocturne flashes, so it gets the flash out of Nocturne. Here comes Echo. Maybe flash. this is not the angle he wants, but he looks like he's still going for it. 
but the set is going to ultimate in. The damage is going to be there, but followed by the Echo ultimate. The Haymaker goes through, but it's not going to be enough. The shield is enough to keep him alive, though. Here comes Orin, though. Full HP goes for the knockup. Nothing hits. The spell shield hits nothing as well, and everyone just kind of walks out. That's tough. I mean, you see everyone trying there to get something done. Nothing ends up happening. Yeah, I mean, Nocturne I guess, the Flash. J4 yeah, takes the blood anyway. yeah, you know. You know, that was, that was nice. It was, it was very nice. That's a participation trophy level yeah, right. fight right there. I like it. Oh, speaking of participation trophy, we are participating in a tower dive down here. And here comes Rakan. This fight might go extremely Rakan south if they're not careful. Glass. And he oh, knocks him up, but, but there's no Ash damage. Had enough oh, today. Ash is getting farming. I, I'm getting my minions. minions, boy. I'm getting these minions. You know, I guess I guess Rakan buys some time. Let, let the Ash uh, farm up here and... Uh, yeah, the wave's still going to be in a terrible spot for us. You can't exactly recall. This is... <laughs> kind of an awkward... Yeah, it's kind of bad. Actually. She probably should have just left. Now yeah. she's going to lose multiple waves here. So, she's still... I mean, it looks like they're actually... Zeri is low, though. She might just go look for it a reset like they're here. They're knocking off the dive, though, but Zeri has flash. She's got two Cocos oh, there. Oh, my oh, God! It's oh, it's too juicy. You have to ignore it, but it's so hard if you're that yeah. Zeri. This that... is hard. I mean, Ash is going to be forced to back yeah. now and, and miss, like, a couple of waves, so... So detrimental. Uh, Ash, Ash walking way far back. Understands that Nocturne just has to see her one time, yep. and she's dead. But, but Nocturne is level. <laughs> yeah, that's the information they don't have. <laughs> no level six for Mr. Nocturne, getting absolutely smoked in the jungle so far. Not completely smoked, but that prediction we had early game. It looks like uh, Jay Beach knows he he has his uh, counterpart number with a slight lead. No, that's that CS though is evening up. The Nocturne is catching up. Still, map pressure-wise, I would give it to J4. Gets the uh, Rift Herald there. And the Dragon. Yeah. All right. I think uh, Seth's had his... Uh, the fun kind of ends for wow. Seth here. Oh, actually, that being said, no. He does a ton of damage. That lethal tempo set is no joke. Is no That's joke. He actually canceled trades. the, the Orn E there as well. Orn's trying to go yeah. into the wall, but... Set does his own. Oh, but uh, yeah, he overcommitted here. Enough. Here we go. Alt one's gonna go down. The brittle All two lands. Brittle is uh, kind of it gets canceled by the. Oh, the Doran grief it. No, he wow. did not. That Holy brittle damage is so shit. gross, man. So gross. Yeah, I think oh. I think a little bit of a mistake actually by Set. He cancels an auto. Which yeah. Killed, but. Oh my yeah. god, dude. NT. Orin is a cringe champion. I hate Orin so much, dude. <laughs> he is a cringe champion. I'm surprised that set is not rushing. Oh, oh Ash is dead. Oh, well, uh, a bit of an asynchronous so ult. No, no, it's good, though. It's yeah, good. It's Ash is 100% dead. Ash no dead. no flash. It's a guaranteed Ash, kill. Flash, yeah. They didn't run, though. I'm talking about, like, uh... <laughs> that kind of scared me. Almost that Nocturnal was going to run out during the bar <laughs> oh, they, they have it down. They no, they, yeah, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So, uh, you know, first gank does go over to uh, Mr. Fiddlestick. So that's uh, yeah. not too shabby. Not too shabby. I mean, Jarvan is up 20 CS, but there is a point where it's like, it's just Jarvan. CS doesn't yeah. matter that much. Yeah, you know, I guess I can't knock the Tabby Rush, you know. It, it, it's doing stuff. It is doing huge it's things. It's not doing a lot, but it's... Yeah, it's... Man, that is just such a yeah, boring... I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't stand it, how much I hate it. It's not the best. I'm surprised that Set is not rushing Bork into Orn, though. Oh, Ari's gonna all forward flash away from the Rakan to dodge out the charm. Oh. A lot of damage going down there. Excuse me, flash out of Jarvan to dodge the charm. We'll keep him safe, but they're gonna be forced Dragon. back, and that's Dragon. You know, BRG, you know, they're really not going away quietly. They have the gold lead now. They're finding these yeah. fights to get back into the game. And, I mean, this is Ares. Omega strong right now. Two oh, yeah. 100 CS. That's a really good point. Yeah, he, she is the definitely the focal point right now yeah. and you know even top lane you know one picking up that kill the cs lead though is on set side i gotta say though the further this game goes the le least amount of fun that set will have he's not going to have a good time the more this progresses uh because orn is just going to just kind of shrug off his damage and not give a crap yep it's a top diff orn it... deserved to win that for how he played it for sure. <laughs> yeah for sure for <laughs> sure clean. For sure, he got to get his face pummeled, build some items, and then Where just Where is stat Echo TPing? Him. Echo's TPing in the bot lane. Oh, huge damage. Yeah. That's a shutdown. Nocturne in the vicinity to maybe do yeah. something. Jarvan's going to land the EQ, and then Nocturne tries Interesting to Interesting that Echo left. Oh, but yeah, he's, he's going to try to dive him. Nocturne all kind of preemptively going down to hide his escape. Pretty smart right there, actually. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good Gets use. Him out. 
Echo can't see. Orno is going down the top lane. Let's see what happens. He's oh, going dead. In on the Gone. Stack. What a huge brittle damage. One more Boom. auto flash forward. It's going to land it. Dude, that is so cringe, man. Probably didn't that... have to use a flash if he didn't <laughs> oh, body block I... himself with Q, but... I play that. That is nauseating to watch, man. That yeah, is... I... I still don't know why he's not going for Bork first. I feel like that. Dude, that's what I'm saying. You have to go Bork. You cannot win, win unless you go Bork. Yeah. You just stat check so hard with Bork. And you have lethal tempo, too. What are yeah, you scared yeah, of? Exactly. I, I hate Gore Drinker Rush. I hate Gore Drinker Rush okay, so much. Okay, but Zeri's back in looking for a kill. Flash it's oh, it's over. Is... It's Jover. It's Jover. That's an easy double <laughs> kill. What can Ash do at that point? This Zeri is too strong. The full static shiv. <laughs> Uh, you know, the Kraken Slayer for the Ash, but it's just not the same DPS yeah, you can produce on this it's area. It's a bit is of too a horror. High. And Ash wastes her flash at the end. Yeah, I'm, that's tough. That's huge for us. Yeah, Rakan holding the exhaust yet again. I mean, it probably didn't matter. It didn't matter, you know. that. that in fairness to, to him. Yeah, the Mr. Rakan child. Thank but you no, for I... that. <laughs> Dude, I don't, nice. I don't know. I don't know, man. Orn, man, I, I am so... You, is that what you go on Orn now? You go Sorg Shoes? I don't think it is. Oh, but that's gross. It's that's so gross. You get so much value off of that, right? I, no I mean, it's it's probably not terrible, and it helps the but you um, just, you're already You're already crapping fire. on yeah. I will say the thing is, is it makes them, like, the the auto attack reduction from Steel Caps into Zeri, I think, is actually pretty significant this game. No, no, I, ag I agree. So. There's no question about that. But... I mean, or even if you just kind of, like, build it over later and like, swap the boots out. Like, right yeah. now, the laning phase, it's just unplayable yeah, it's, for Seth. Yeah, it's pretty unplayable for Seth, especially since he's going for a not-ideal build. Yeah. I, it, it's not... not that stri you can't build Stride Breaker from those items, right? That is 100% Gore Drinker, right? Um, I forget if... Yeah, can, I think that oh, it's... I hate Gore Drinker. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. I, I, I don't even think Gore Drinker is bad. I just hate Gore Drinker on set. It, it's so boring. Oh, Jarvan wants his top lane gank here. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to get anything. The wave is crashing to the tower. The tower. He runs away. Yeah, not, not the best move. To, for the Ari? Not the best move to try to tower Ooh, dive. He's so. actually going to land in the Everfrost, getting some good damage on Echo. But now, very sad. Oh, Mr. Ash is no. What so can you dead. do? Shit. That is just that. That's not even Ash. You could argue that Ash showed on the map, and that's playing bad. But when you're behind yeah. on Ash, that's just the game you're playing. Is like, when am I going to die? I mean, to be honest, it's like Orn is ahead, and they send three people to try to go to Orn's lane. But it's like, who cares if Orn is actually ahead this game? Because I mean, Zeri is five and one right now. Already has a completed static, completed call. So much CS, and now. Echo in a little bit of hot water here, caught out in his own jungle, trying to fight this bard, but it's kind of a 3v1, 4v1 situation, needs to be careful. Backs off to catch mid-wave, and 50 seconds on this dragon timer should be the next big fight that we have. TPs on both solo laners. Looks like Zeri's gonna take a quick recall to spend up her gold. What yeah, will she get? That's going to be a big buy, whatever she's going for right there. Possibly the Essence Reaver, because she has a Caulfield Warhammer. Is that yeah, or Navori as well. Navori, yeah, it's probably Navori. Probably getting that mythic item there. You know, definitely has the gold for it, the way this game's going. Well, Cole completed, 145 CS, 5 kills, and there yeah, it is. There Quick it Blade's is. coming in, absolutely massive. She is just at force right now. And uh, the Bard ult there, you know, that's um, that's not how you want to do that. Oh, no, 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 the no, Bard's yeah, on the yeah, right bard, side. Never bard mind, bard. never mind. That was a that was a goaded play by Bard. You know, you saved a bunch of tower damage. <laughs> for, I thought Bard was on blue side for a second. I would have reported his ass into the moon. <laughs> but yeah, no, Dragonfight setting up real nice here. Both sides ready for it. The TP comes in. Red side will be here first. The set not quite here. Or is he already here? He's already here. Oh, no, the set TP then. The Orn yeah, was already orn, here. Orn okay. Already there. Ari's going to go shove out the mid wave as they both posture for this. Poke going down from oh, the knockup. Knockup's gonna land on the bard, but a big Ooh, set. Oh, that's huge. Them, followed by the oh. nocturne. Yeah, by Ash. Ash just gets one shot followed closely behind by the support. Right. Orn is trying to one before, but can't do too much. Echo's gonna all back. It's to enough safety, though. But it's only gonna take him right. away for a wow. little bit. Actually, somehow Ooh, manages to get out. Slippery boy, slippery boy to getting out of there. 
But yeah, no, that was a really, really nice engage by yeah. the set, the Nocturne layering on top of it. Very, very nice. And, you know, that is the value of going the Gore Drinker rush is the, the team fight power you have is absurd. Yeah. Your survivability in a fight is incredible. Getting that Haymaker off, the huge ultimate damage, massive. And uh, Bargamy picking up the straggling kill over here. Oh, no, the Bard oh just gets out God. with a sliver. That is so tragic. Really well played by the Bard to play to his limits. Completes his ward item in the process as well. My God. That man yep. was living dangerous. Distracts him from the dragon as well. So Zarya ends up picking up that dragon for yeah. BRG. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of huge. And you see, like, even Orn being ahead there, it doesn't matter. He's just a set ultimate. And yep. again, you see, even with that lead, he still ends up being pretty squishy into this Zarya. I know. so incredibly far ahead, just gets melted. Yeah, but the uh, Sork Shoes might be coming to bite him here. You know, the survivability just not there in a fight. Yeah, but also his Ash is so far behind. Really yeah, hard Ash, is, Ash is, no offense to the player, but the champion is useless right now. Wait, yeah. And Ash behind is one of the worst AD carries you can play. You just cannot play the game. Yeah, it's really sad. I mean, if you're the side of Hotspot, you probably have to look for some creative picks, try to find someone out of position know. with the Ash arrow. And just 100 to Jarvin, 0, then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the only option. Just hope you can burst. I mean, Zeri is two levels yeah, up right now. Utilize a play with, like, Echo J4 or something with an Ash ult on top, and maybe you can burst somebody out, but it's easier said than done. There's not a lot of targets. Zeri's hard yeah. to hit. Same thing with the Ari. The spell shield on the Nocturne. Not a lot of good options. <laughs> yeah, and now Ash, I mean, it's really hard for her to show on these midways with the Nocturne here. can just get ulted and blown up. So, tough spot to play from. If you are hotspot right mm -hmm. now. That's not his name. No. On the bottom left. Yeah. That's not his name. This is real name, yeah. That's Huh? Dick Buttkiss. Yeah, he died. Is I'm very sorry to hear that. He's dead, yeah. Dick I, butt kiss. I, I was saying that earlier. Dick Buttkiss dies eighty years old on the night the Bears are playing. Very sad. Little Dick Dick Buttkiss. Rest in peace. What an OG that guy. I mean, I know. Okay, and then was gonna find Barn, but no one's in the same much. hemisphere. There's literally no one there to follow the pick. The Nocturne, all, honestly. <laughs> oh, but here work. comes Orn from another Orn, map over. Oh. There's another fight going on, and honestly, kind of, kind of confused on what they're looking for there. Uh, uh, yeah, I think maybe they didn't realize how many numbers were there. I mean, to to the credit Red Team, the Nocturne was pretty smart to cover like yeah. the Ash Arrow made it hard to follow up but still a little bit of a can they even follow that up there like probably I, not uh, i guess maybe the orn was slowed by the like nocturnal not really knowing how to walk in or aim his ultimate i can understand that no certainly not all right certainly not all right uh, uh, wrap it up oh oh, oh i have the camera moved i thought the no, game no, well like, wait a minute because it fixed itself before Oh, yeah, time, that, that, that's right. Time. This is only the first freeze. Uh, we... So if we get, come back, one this of these teams needs clip. to end real quick. I mean, what is that? It, it's bumped Actually, out almost the exact same time, too. Yeah. The other one was 2142. This is 2030. Wow. Riot client sucks. I mean, it has to be Riot. We're Thank still you for up. following, We're still uh, up. Mr. Ricky. Ooh. Appreciate you, buddy. What the hell, man? This is so stupid. Trust me, I... Oh, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I know, you're not. Yeah. You're pushing P. <laughs> the Bears logo is terrible, too. That's a classic. That's the classic no, logo. No, no, the, the icon? Oh, oh, the C? No, no, the oh, C the, is the, the, the little bear? I like that little... classic? Yeah, I think that's like, it looks kind of OG. Or maybe Ooh, they just really over the graphic. Oh, DJ Moore. Holy crap. We could just cast the Bears game. Oh, my God. Well, actually, yeah, you can could, you could even get in trouble with the NFL, technically, if you, like, cast a game. Even if you're not, like, actively watching. You react, but you can't, like, just say, oh, oh DJ Moore down the sideline, back shoulder catch, back of the end zone, touchdown, touchdown, a perfect place fall by Justin Fields, and an even better catch by DJ yeah, that Moore. Was, that was a dime. How is it every time I open the stream, it's frozen? Dude, you're telling me, man. You're telling me. I don't even understand this. I like, know. I would even blame, you know, like, production issues, you know, blah, 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 whatever. But, you know, it's honestly not even our fault. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. This is, like, insane. Oh, hey, it's back. No, it's... Oh, I got rewound. It's... Never mind. I don't even understand what the problem is. Like, Zach, when's the last time you updated drivers on that thing? I... 
Did you say a long time ago? <laughs> what? Okay, that's not a good answer. What's right? up? Martin. I was just. Thank you for your active chatting. Can Joel give me a shout out? Did you, know, did you give him a shout out? Yeah. His, What's his, wrong his with name you? Is Martin. Martin. I'm going to dox him on screen. Right dox him, yeah. What's his address? What's his social? Yeah. And you don't you have to show a picture of him, but show a picture that would make people want to go to his house. <laughs> that's the key. As long as long as they're there, that's enough of a reason to be scared. All right. All right. All right, uh, Zach. Want to want to kick it to a quick uh, quick break here? Now that we're getting this back anytime soon. Well, you know, sometimes things don't go your way. And by judging by the fact that you're seeing our faces right now, it did not go our way today. The same time marker both times. We lost both games. Don't know why. Hardware's working fine. It didn't even freeze, didn't crash, but we just lost everything. It's tough for us, you know? It's tough. I mean, yeah. What are we really supposed to do? The internet, everything's great. Like Pat said, everything is tip-top, um, peak ship performance at the moment. Um, but we just don't, I don't know. We don't have anything for you guys right now. Nothing. Sorry about that. Nothing. And, you know, we're going to we're gonna have to end this here. We don't need I don't even know how. Does that, do we have a conclusion on the game? Do we know who won? 
They are still playing. Well, we have nothing to show you, so I guess there's really no point in continuing this. Yeah. We're going to have to lick our wounds, come back later, and, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not saying Joe Biden caused this, but we can't prove otherwise. Who yeah. else could it be? It yeah. has to be him, man. I mean, what the hell? Thank you uh, for tuning in and, and watching what parts of the games that we're uh, able to yeah, be watching. We really, yeah, we really, really appreciate, appreciate it. Really yeah. appreciate it. And, you know, the SLS will only rise again. That is true. Even stronger than We'll last be time. back better, hopefully, next week. Uh, we'll see. But take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. Be safe. Have fun. Thanks for spending time with us, guys. Hey, hey, hey.